What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a long time. Michigan Foodie Girl is making an appearance. I've been so busy, busy with family. Oh, I cut myself out here in the garden. I'll tell you about that later. But busy with family stuff, work stuff, just been a lot of stuff um, going on. But I wanted to give you guys a little update. <laughs> Some things are gone, so there are new things in the garden. Um, a lot of things, season, it's the season ended for certain plants, but I did replace the plants with other things. So I'm just gonna take you on a little short tour because there's not, I mean, there's still stuff left, but it's not as um, much as it was before. Every, a lot of things have grown tremendously too. So things are, some things have exploded especially when I went on vacation and came back oh my goodness it was stuff everywhere peppers everywhere cucumbers everywhere it was stuff everywhere so yep take a look at what's going on <sighs> so this is the jalapeno cayenne pepper and sweet um sweet green pepper bed which I think they're supposed to be red and green but let me just show you, these have not been doing well at all. They're just now starting to bear fruit and it is the end of August, literally the end of August. Today is August 31st and they have done nothing all summer until now. Do you see how tiny they are? I put my finger next to it. That's how tiny the green peppers are. Super tiny, let me see if I can focus. Super tiny, yeah. So that's what that's doing. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in for as long as I can and see what happens. Th these are the jalapenos. This is just one of other many plants and they have been producing awesome. I've been getting a ton of jalapenos. I've given some to my neighbor. I've canned a lot of them. Um, I'll show you guys that another day. I'm not an expert on canning. I've just been learning myself and uh, reading up on it and watching YouTube videos. This is the cayenne pepper. You can see down here, we got some that are turning red. And I plan to make, take all these peppers and turn them in to hot sauce. Got a few ones here, they're red. I want them to turn red before I pick them so the sauce can be red instead of green. I did take some in the house and dried them out, um, which I plan on using for cooking. And I actually um, added some cayenne peppers to some of the canned jalapenos that I made too and made them extra hot, I guess. So I haven't tasted them yet. We'll see what happens. These are new. Before this bed had cabbage, broccoli, collard greens in it. Now it is cherry tomatoes and a beautiful sunflower that my mom gave me. Um, she, I think, I don't know if she's run out of space or maybe she just didn't feel like planting them. But she ended up giving me this beautiful sunflower plant. Very pretty. The bees and the butterflies love them. I even saw some ants on here too. I do not know what variety of cherry tomatoes these are. She just gave me a bunch of stuff. They weren't labeled, and the ones that were labeled, the name was kind of smudged off on it. It's definitely gotten huge, you can see. These kind of grew up over, because they were small like this broccoli, and came back from vacation, and then they were this big. So, yeah. And I don't know, I just really don't know what kind of variety of tomatoes these are, because they're kind of, big this one is kind of big for a check those over there that i just showed you those look like cherry tomatoes i don't know what this is it's pretty big let's see i put my hand by it it's pretty big for a cherry tomato but we shall see what comes out of this i'm gonna keep them as long as they produce um they're kind of behaving like an indeterminate but we we shall see what happens keep them as long as i can these bad boys I have to step back so you can see the whole plant because they're taller than me they're taller than my husband too <laughs> these plants have really grown tremendously they're kind of falling over I need to get a ladder and kind of pull them back together but this was beefsteak tomatoes and Aunt Ruby's 
um, German green tomatoes, which taste delicious. I, this is my first year growing these tomatoes and they, I can't, it's hard to explain. The taste is different. This is what they look like. And they're, they don't turn red. Um, you kind of know that they're pretty ripe and the bottom is soft and it has that like a yellow hue at the bottom, but they don't turn red at all. They're green, a tasty green tomato. They're so savory. Like it's so hard to explain the taste of it. Awesome. I don't remember what marigolds I planted here. I think I have it taped or stapled over here. They are the mixed, petite mixed colored marigolds. Yep. Prolific bloomers. But they're pretty. It's a multi pollination. You can see it's a, our um, friend the bee over here. Chilling. That's why the marigolds are here to promote pollination of the tomato flowers. Uh, guarantees germination. Okay. This whole bed is full of romas. There's not much of the Roma tomatoes left because I've been canning like crazy and my son my four-year-old who does not eat vegetables has been eating these tomatoes like they're candy i was so shocked that he's been enjoying them so much i'm happy and i'm shocked all at once so we got some stuff left and i picked um, a lot of the green ones yesterday that's why I, when i cut myself with the pruning shears trying to cut off the whole vine of green tomatoes and um, <laughs> stabbed myself in the hand with the scissors yesterday. So I took a lot of those inside to can and make salsa verde. I had a lot of problems with this one this year. Um, the romas are a determinant tomato. Once they produce what they're gonna produce, that's it. They don't keep growing like the, this big one right here. This one is gonna keep on growing as long as the season allows for it. But they don't produce as much. So once they're done, they're done. So I don't, yeah, and they're starting to get like little spots, which is, I, I don't know if it's a sign of disease or a sign of, you know, it's almost done and done for the season. I don't know. We shall see. <sighs> yep, this is the Romas. This was, a, I don't know, I can't remember the name of this one. I think it's a, a Florida tomato or Florida, Florida tomato. I don't know how to pronounce it. But this one did really well. I don't know if this one is a determinant or indeterminate tomato, but it did awesome. And I'm just gonna let this one finish out and turn red. There's another little baby one up here. But this one isn't doing too much of anything else either. It looks like it was going to do something here, but it's kind of, I think it's kind of dying off. The leaves are turning colors just like the Romas are. Um, getting all kind of brown spots on the stems and the leaves. So I'm thinking it's done. It's on, it's on its way out for the season. And I'm um, planning on planting the fall garden. I've already started planting some stuff for fall too. These marigolds grew ginormous. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh, Mr. B came to say hi to us. And I wanna say these are African marigolds. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think these are African marigolds. I've noticed a lot of monarchs have been hanging out. Even hummingbirds have really gravitated towards these particular flowers. Um, yeah, the butterflies, the bees, of course, love them. And I actually caught a hummingbird out here today enjoying the beautiful flowers. Uh, this is, oh, this is an eggplant. And I think we're getting one more. I've already picked like six of them off of here. And I have to apologize to you guys because I have not um, kept you up on this journey in a long So coming out here before everything dies off to let you know what happened and what's going on and what's new out here. So it looks like we're going to get at least one more. But I'm probably going to end up pulling this plant because it looks like it's done. Like it's on its way out the door to for the season. And I'm going to probably plant some collard greens, some turnips, and um, 
broccoli in this bed. And we had cucumbers, we had pickles. Those did wonderful. Well, the pickles did wonderful. The cucumbers were really slow and they didn't produce like I wanted them to. The pickles, I was out here every day harvesting pickles. Every day. This is this whole bed was nothing but jalapenos and pickle plants. And some miracles we threw in here too. But jalapenos did wonderful. I'm glad I planted as many as I did. I was able to give some away and I was able to can some. Um, what else did I plant over here? Forgetting something. I planted some snow peas over here so we can have peas in the fall so I was doing some research on YouTube and I was told online well I found it online that you can plant peas in late summer so you can get a fall harvest so I'm excited about that and it makes sense because they do well in the springtime and it's cooler in the spring in the springtime so they should do well in the fall this is carrots the carrots I had under the tree We've already picked those and eaten them. Um, I just planted another batch because I was told they do well in the winter and the fall. I'm probably gonna plant some more in one of these beds. I'm definitely gonna plant garlic. I'm gonna plant carrots, collard greens, radish, beets, um, turnips. I already got broccoli in the beds. If the cabbage moth doesn't eat it all up, I need to find something to protect it. I've been doing neem oil and diatomaceous earth, but we'll see. So I built this little thing, little TP sticks out of bamboo sticks or whatever. And this is gonna be peas, some more peas. These are just regular peas. The other ones I just showed you were snow peas. Here is the beautiful corn, silver queen doing amazing I mean as long as most as tall as the garage and these red bit raised beds and we oop, got caught on the wire we have two more ladies and gentlemen it's not quite ready yet but we got one I pulled one back to see if it was ready and I was just trying to get the ants from keep the ants from eating that's diatomation earth I don't know if that's a good thing or not to put it on but the answer the earwigs like it too apparently we got corn all over the place and I, this looks so weird to me I don't know what's going on with this corn I've never seen that before but this is my first time actually growing corn so I don't know if this it's stunted growth because it's not as tall as the rest of the corn. But they have these little baby ears down here. And I don't know what this is all about. It looks kind of weird. I'm thinking maybe the growth is stunted or something. Because I'm used to corn looking like that. And not like this. So it still looks a little strange to me. But I mean it may be how it's supposed to be. I think this was a different variety. I don't think all of this was Silver Queen. So I can't even remember what it was it might be some kind of stick with the name on it in there somewhere under these marigolds but I don't know this is the corn uh, everything I was planting under here did horrible even the garlic I think it's because it didn't get enough sun and I think I just might have planted it at the wrong time I don't know a lot of people online say you should plant it in fall in the fall in October and let it winter over and then it comes up in the spring and you harvest in summer um, that's what I've been noticing on YouTube anyway but I think I just need to do some more research about the garlic but only thing that survived under this tree was the carrots and they came they were small but they were good so they survived that's all that matters my first year growing and they survived <laughs> this bed was zucchini the zucchini did horrible Ended up pulling it up because it's like summer is almost over and I'd rather put something in here that's going to be productive. So on this bed, we've got beets on this side and we've got radish on this side. So it's going to be beets and radish. The radish popped up so quick. I literally planted these a few days ago and they're already up. They beat the beets to it. <laughs> 
gonna have radish. I've been looking up recipes. Apparently roasting radish is the best thing to do. I also wanna pickle it as well for tacos, so. Yeah. This is the beginning of my little fall garden. Summer's almost over. All right, we got some new things in the front yard. So I'm gonna take you guys up there. I didn't want to see, but the bees love it, so I just left it the way it was. This is another, I think, cherry tomato that my mom gave me. I don't know what variety they are. I know these are cherry tomatoes for sure. Just gotta wait and see what happens with them, because they didn't have labels when she gave them to me. This was supposed to be Russian red right? kill, but the potato moth destroyed it. actually started to grow back so you guys seen this before this is time um, this is new this is fennel never had fennel and I'm excited to try that the oregano and the bees love this too they love the flowers we got parsley and cilantro which I've already been using So that's it for the garden, guys. That's all I have to show you right now. Um, I'm just really looking forward to planting for the fall. And then my first fall garden. I'm excited about the garden. I think this is going to be something I'm going to do for the rest of my life is gardening, especially since my kids love it. And it's a good way to teach them and get them involved. And I love how involved my four-year-old four has gotten with the garden he loves coming out here helping me pick stuff and do things and plant seeds and most of all he loves eating up all the tomatoes so <laughs> which i am i'm okay with that because it's i'm okay with that because it was hard to get him to eat vegetables before we started gardening so it's had a very positive effect on him and i love it my 13 year old loves it we all love it uh, oh, I forgot. It's a bean plant here. It's a vining bean plant. And I don't remember what it was, what kind of bean plant it was. I should have put a tag on it, but I didn't. My bad. But it's got little flowers on it. Those flowers are going to be beans soon. So it's not too late to plant beans. You can still get. Uh, fall harvest of beans. Beans grow really quick. I just um, um, pulled up some Blue Lake bush beans. The whole bush beans were full of beans, stream beans, green beans or whatever. And I was able to pull all of those up and we've been enjoying eating those. What else have we been enjoying? Everything. Pickles, because my kids love pickles. My husband loves pickles, cucumbers. I, it reminds me, I take some over to my grandmother. She just reminded me that I was supposed to bring her some pickles over. But yeah, that's it, guys. Just a little update, and my and my apologies again for keeping you guys on the back burner. I've just been having so much going on. But you guys got an update today. All right, peace and blessings to you guys. Bye.